how did they lift the team going into the locker room? Definitely gave us some momentum. You know, to be able to adapt against them, it's pretty good. But, uh, you know, it just wasn't enough. Um, you know, even though we had the momentum, we had to come out and get a stop. From the from a talent perspective, what was your assessment of how they handled considering how uh, daunting with the influence that attacked it was and just how great the players were? Like, what was your I feel like they were just like everybody else. But, you know, like, I really feel the challenge was like differently from the O-line and the skill guys. Uh, you know, like it was, it was just, like the same guys in all years. Uh, it was just, you know, like we got in the space. Uh, when you see uh, Jackson and Molly, they're on offense or on different turns. What's going through your head as a defensive player? What is he able to do? Every time he touches the ball, I think he's going to score. Um, you know, he has that explosive uh, play capability. And uh, make some happen with the ball every time he touches it. So, uh, it's definitely exciting. What's the move the locker room? I'm sorry. What's the move the locker room? I know we just lost. Uh, nobody feels good. But I know personally I wanted to get that one for the seniors. It was my last time playing with them. So, you know, it just sucks. But, you know, like, I'm a junior now in football. So, you know, uh, this time I rallied guys up and look forward. What did you tell you guys after the game? Uh, you know, it's not where we're going to end the season. Um, but we, we appreciate all the teams for staying, you know, like playing this game. Uh, giving us the one, so, you know, just, just appreciate the team. You guys held Alabama to its lowest yeah. point total all season. So was there anything that was, like, working right for the defense? Yeah, it was just everything. Um, it was just, you know, like, quarterback scramble, and, you know, lost some more time, and the receiver got open. So, uh, yeah, like, really everything defensively was working. But, uh, it was just those couple plays. In that first half, after that first play, what did you guys talk about on the sideline? And do you feel like you guys settled down as a unit after that touchdown to Judy? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, all season we were saying play by play. So, you know, like one play happens, the next play. So, you know, after that first play, we just shook it off and we uh, knew that we had to go back out and get stop. How deflating was it giving up that last touchdown in that challenge? It was kind of a smack in the face, but, you know, uh, it is what it is. It's football. We got to be ready at all times. And we were ready at all. Talk about how the defense played, the defensive line played in the absence of some of your starters. Oh, yeah, they played great. Uh, you know, like they're getting great pressure. Um, you know, we just couldn't get home every single time. But, but you know, they made that quarterback scramble and think was definitely good. Cam, what's the key to your defense avoiding giving up explosive plays next season? I mean, what, what needs to change in these types of games? We just got to execute, you know, at a, high, at a very high level. Uh, especially against a good team like this, you know, you can't make any mistakes. You know, we made some edits today. Are there specific, I guess, things that are being executed in those situations? Uh, I have to watch film to see that, but right now, I don't know. I just know that as a team, we didn't execute as a team. It's easy to look back now, but uh, are there any options that you take away from this? Yeah, just the heart we have as a team. Uh, you know, no matter how much we're down, how much time we're going to we go for speed every time, we try to come back, try to get off the ball, defense. So, you know, like, it's just the heart we have. And, and like, I know that we can build on that with the talent we have and, and the skill that we have. So, Ohio State had some really talented skill players to Alabama. Was there anything you did differently to approach Alabama than the Ohio State game? Uh, we really approach the same team, the, the same way to every team. Um, no, we, 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 don't, we don't try to make teams bigger than what they are. So, you know, we, we prepare for Alabama the same way we, we prepare for others. As, as a defense, what is your take away from these last two games? These two last two losses? Um, you said defense. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard, but I keep saying this is supposed to play. You know, I'll say I have a whole bunch of passes down the field. Before that's ran, but Alabama, same thing. It's like, it's like you're looking in the mirror. So, you know, it's just this defense having to have a I don't I don't believe so. Uh, you know, it's just in the heat of the game. You know, you got a lot of people watching, you got a lot of responsibility to have and we can do that too. I mean, yeah, it's just a point where it's all the time we put in. Like a defense collective, you know what we can do, but you know, we can't show it all today. So, yeah, it's a big disappointment. You know, it's just, we want to win, so we can do it. You know, Time for a few more from Cam. Where do you see this defense going now? You saw a lot of, of younger guys in, in bowl practices. 
how do you see this defense improving going into this upcoming season? I see it getting better. Um, you know, we had we had a bunch of dogs on the field this year. You know, a bunch of seniors leaving, but we have a bunch of people coming back. And like I know, this freshman class coming in is going to work their hardest to get on the field. So I'm very really excited to see what we can do. Anybody in particular really stand out in the bowl practices? Uh, in the bowl practices, mm -hmm. um, Chris and he definitely definitely shows what he's capable of. And, you know, we got the spring ball and this summer camp coming up, so I can't wait to see what he can do. Tim, you had a breakout season after uh, being a backup last season. I guess what's what's the key to making the most out of the offseason? Uh, just taking every opportunity to, uh, you know, to the fullest. Uh, you know, like once you get out there, once you get that rep, you got to take full advantage of it. You can't, you can't just let it slip away. You got to keep going, keep going, and be the best of it. What was your view that you in the pass around on eight? That was uh, that was an interesting call. You know, personally, I don't think it was rough in the past. I think he was just playing football, but it is what it is. Game in. Anything else for Cam? Thank you all for the time. Appreciate it.